Hi, everybody. I'm Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. Good evening and welcome to the New Orleans State Palace Theater for tonight's main event. And the anticipation for this bout has grown as the week has gone on. A lot of talk behind these two. Now it's time to walk the walk. Let's have a good clean fight. Touch him up and let's go. All right, let's go. 15 rounds scheduled here in this much anticipated fight. And we are underway with round number one. Solid left. Gets rid of that. A demolishing right hand by the killer. Oh, he's hurt right there. He is hurt. So in this kind of situation, it's kind of like a wounded animal. Yeah, you could go after him, but you better be careful because he'll strike out when you don't expect it. What are some of the adjustments that can typically be made halfway through a matchup like this of speed versus speed? Just to remind your charge, your fighter, that, hey, there's a lot more to this world, to this fight, than just speed. Why don't you start doing other things? Why don't you start fainting a little bit? Get the guy out of position a little bit. Get him in some false moves. Smart punch right there. The uppercut works. Needs to improve that accuracy. Missed with the headshot. There's a good right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. A good block. Each man able to land an uppercut. The killer's defense is now serving him well. Nice job blocking that punch. So many times you hear of an early round where they're just feeling each other out. No way. Not these guys. Straight to action. Well, if they can keep this up, they're both going to have headaches, but we're going to have a special one on our hands. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. A huge uppercut by the killer. Armstrong's well off the mark that time. Back to the body. by Armstrong. Get after him. We come to the end of the round. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas. And looking up at these corners, you can see the cutman obviously getting to work as they do after every round. What makes a great cutman? Well, he's got to have the right medicines, the right coagulants to stop that. Usually avatine, thrombin, adrenaline. But the most important thing, Joe, is he has to be calm. He has to be able to identify where that cut is. Maybe there's more than one cut. So you got to be calm enough to see the whole picture, the whole landscape, clean it off, put pressure on it, get that medicine in there, keep your fighter from getting excited. And then you need a fighter who's going to get on his wheels a little bit, give the medicine a chance to work. Armstrong's movement's really helping him out, avoiding that punch. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Armstrong. Oh. 
good start to this round, much like the way he finished the last round. Oh, well, he's taking advantage of that and give him credit for thinking about that. He realizes that his opponent might still be a little dazed, so he's not giving him a chance to recover. He's testing him again. Goes up top with a right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counter punch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. You know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Now, Teddy, are you a fan of this right here? He, it seems like he's going for broke right now where shouldn't he just be worried about getting fully recovered from what just happened? Yeah, well, that would mean that he's thinking right. He's not thinking right right now. And there he is, scoring with the right hand. It's okay, let's go. Armstrong's punch is far off the target. Overhand right can be so effective. Hard to believe they can still give like this in these final moments of what has been a sensational round. I feel like I'm back at the amusement park on a roller coaster again, like a kid. Not hitting his mark there going upstairs. And you can see he wanted to do that as he holds on there. Strong uppercut, he comes right back with it after taking one. Final 10 seconds of round number two. A well-placed left hand up top. A little defense turns into offense. He blocks the shot, comes right back with one of his own. Joe and Teddy with you here in between rounds, a round in which, boy, he really just dominated his opponent. Teddy, he's got to think things could be coming to a sensational ending for him when he gets off the stool here. Well, he's showing that to you right now. I'm looking at him right now, and he's starting to get up. There's a couple seconds left. There's probably five seconds left before he has to get up, and he's getting up early. That shows you right what you're talking about. He can He's chomping at the bit. He's confident. complete control of this fight. You need to move your... And round number three is underway. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Keeping his hands up, getting rid of his opponent's offense. He just gave his opponent a really good taste of how fast his hand speed is. Yeah, you know, a lot of times we talk about power, and we see that power, you know, can damage a guy right away, obviously, and it can intimidate an opponent. But hand speed can do the same thing. And I think it's an intimidating right now to his opponent. He's afraid to let that jab go because he might get counted with one of those lightning right hands. How about that exchange? Damaging blow, nice hook upstairs. Looking good. And makes that nice right angle on that hook upstairs. Armstrong is going to think about the next time he throws a punch because he just got hit by a good solid counter.
returns the favor with a right hand of his own. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. She's got his guard up really well that time, and it protects his head. Able to get rid of that one. That's great stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by the killer. Able to dismiss it. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Armstrong. Keeping his hands up, getting way of his opponent's effort. And that's the end of round three. Just, just, just keep it up. Just keep it up. That's it now, all right? It's, it's nice work. Listen to me. You're getting caught up. You're getting caught up and fighting his fight. Focus for me. Listen. Stick close to the guy. Don't let him get... Well, Teddy's scorecard has him up around, but we're yet to get into the meat of the matter of this fight. Doing great. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Armstrong. The killer's coming up with the answers, avoiding that punch. Hey, you got here he comes, nice and aggressive, red hot, going after it, much the way he finished up the action the last time we saw him in the last round. Hey, look, if you're a fisherman and the fisher was good in a certain spot, <laughs> you can't wait to get the boat out to that same spot. He's rolling right out there. Nice, nice. You know, when we sat with these guys yesterday in preparation for this broadcast, we asked them, all right, what's your favorite punch? They both had the same response. We like them all. Well, that's a smart fighter, because you want to be as versatile, as rounded as possible. The killer's proving to be elusive. Wow, look at that, trading shots. Tried the hook, didn't get it. Keep moving, keep moving. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Armstrong's movement helped out there. He avoided that. Oh, that's got to hurt. Oh, he's got to beat the count of 10 here. One, two, three, four. Five. Down he goes. Now up he gets. And if he wants to stay up, he's going to have to grab on. Kill a little time. Come on. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. Teddy, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the wisps, the old great Willie Peck. Made him miss, made him pay. 
Ten seconds to go in the fourth. Yeah, I'm looking good. Okay, keep your hands up, all right? You're doing fine. Get in. Let's turn this into a fight. You don't need that. I'm going to throw that away. All right. Deep breath now. Deep breath. Relax. Relax. Are you all right? I need you to keep your hands up. Keep your hands up. Don't worry now, all right? I just I need you to focus. How quickly can he recover? That's one of the questions that'll be answered early on in this round after being knocked down in that last round. Well, what he has to do is go out there, be defensive-minded. I think get a little time early on. Don't worry about winning or pressing the first part of the round. Just get himself together, then start picking it up after that. The killer's showing you a little defensive skill there. Right? They'll move away from that punch. Carries that punch away. He just missed that shot up top. The killer's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. Good block. Step to the side and then lands the counter. Yeah, disappear on him, and then all of a sudden appear on him. His opponent wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. And now he's acting like a fighter, coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five, minute and a half to go. And now a little combination punching, landing both shots. Just like that, just like that. The killer's defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. That worked out really well, throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. The killer's showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. Pace yourself. Don't let him get to you, kid. Scored well after being hit himself. <laughs> Ten seconds remaining in this round. We come to the end of this round, and for this fighter, I think that's a good thing because I was looking at him there, Teddy, and it looked like he was breathing in and out of his mouth for most of that round. Yeah, and that's a bad sign. That means that the gas tank is a little low. He's low on petrol. Good. Nice work. Listen, I want you to go downstairs, then upstairs, okay? Body, then head. Let's fix this. You know where you need to be. I don't want to see you outside of him, okay? To live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Well, his opponent is opening up and coming forward, so I would think there are some opportunities that exist. Yeah, I think some counterpunching opportunities. Opportunities not on the front end, but on the back end. A 
little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Keep moving, keep moving. Halfway through round six. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. toe there. Both fighters got in on him. Good looking right hand after he got hit. I don't like this at all, Teddy. I mean, it's one thing to stand toe to toe. It's another thing to never even move. You got to show some movement. Maybe he's breaking down. Maybe he's already spit the bit. You know, if he falls down, everybody in the world is going to know that he let himself fall down. He gave up. But there's different ways, different phases of giving in. And this might be one of those phases. He's getting him into position there. You can see him backing him up against the ropes. Ten seconds to go in this round. Oh, keep your oh he just moving. misses with that headshot. They both decide to bring it. This has been a hotly contested war throughout, and you just have a sense that it's going to end at any moment in these later rounds. Yeah, these guys are not saving anything. They're going for broke right from the beginning. You gotta land a big punch now. No doubt about it, you are losing this fight. You need to throw and land a big shot. And we are back underway, another round in a fight that's been very entertaining, but I wouldn't want to be a judge. This is one of those fights that could go either way. You got this one. <laughs> The killer is almost out of it there. He was stunned. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Armstrong. The killer's able to avoid that punch. Keep working the body. Well, he's sending more than one at him now, the combo to the head. The killer's got something to think about now. He just threw a punch and had one coming right back at him. His opponent scored well with the counter. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. At the halfway point of round seven, Armstrong's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. just getting away from that punch. Good return fire that time. And here they go again. 
just on a blistering pace, punch for punch being met by the opponent. Well, when you push a human being into the abyss, into a place that's dangerous, that's scary, either they give in, they fall deeper, or they come out. Both these guys are coming out. Face yourself. He missed with that headshot. Right back at him with a left hand. Coming towards the end of the seventh round, ten seconds to go. fight is too close. You hear me? It's, it's too fucking close. We don't want this to go to the judges' scorecards, right? So, time. He's got nothing left, okay? We got Just it. go for the head. Knock him out. Listen, who knows how the ringside judges are scoring this fight right now, but I will say this. It's a close fight, no matter which way you have it. I know you have him up slightly right now as he's put together a couple rounds. This is a good close fight. Yeah, this is the kind of fight that goes back and forth, and if you want to keep it on your side, you got to make sure you don't let off that pedal a little bit. Good way to protect the midsection. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Keep moving, working the jab. Here's Do one for you, you now, he says. Right back with the left hand. Not able to land the headshot. Good defensive skill. Fires right back at him. Why is his opponent struggling so much here? Why can he not land a clean headshot? Well, one reason. What bite to that right hand by the killer. Big shot. And for the second time tonight, he goes down. is over. Armstrong's corner is already celebrating. His opponent unable to beat the count. Boy, I tell you, I didn't see that coming, Teddy. But you know what? I'm glad it did. Look at the reaction he's getting here with that knockout. You didn't see it coming. More importantly, he didn't see it coming. That is why he's prone on the canvas. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.